you. Get off me, he says. Clear the tarmac. It's takeoff time. Media Vintage Sports Network presents Play by Play podcast with Jordan Hughes. Alrighty, welcome in to Play by Play podcast and a real picks and preview. We are back and it is round three coming up and uh, Jordan Hughes with you once again. And, the and great it's man. me, baby, the king, Jods. How are you, boss? Great to see you, Mr. Movember. Looking good, man. Thank you, mate. Looking a bit very, early. A bit early. <laughs> takes me this long to get it done. <laughs> oh, nice. Looking fresh, though. Looking tan, mate. Me, uh, always. Always tan. Lovely. Uh, great to be back with you after a pretty successful week. We told you we'd bounce back, and we did. We did. Congratulations to Geordie. First one, eight from eight. Round two. Yeah. It took him two rounds, eight from eight. It's good, mate. Nice. That's we went from... Two, I went from two out of eight I was saying, to yep. six out of eight. Yep, six and eight. We are on mm. trajectory. That's why people follow along because we bounce back in a big way. Let's do it again. Uh, bloody oath. So let's talk about uh, round two quickly. Hell, hell of a round, obviously. Um, what got you excited, mate? Excited? What got me excited? Um, probably how Manly performed against uh, the Roosters. Yeah. Um, I was actually very happy with um, look. Luke, Luke Brooks has been a good inclusion yeah, man. Yeah, there we go. Still average, still playing good, but it's the Burbo. The Burbo and the Turbo. Yep. I love them. Down that left edge. It was, yeah, yeah, just yeah. got some courage there too. So Burbo and Turbo, that's what gets me excited. 100%. What about you? Um, well, you know what excited me? The Titans having a bye. So there's no heartbreak. Yeah! So they got a win. <laughs> they got a win. They got two points. <laughs> yes. so Let's go. Happy about that. But obviously, what got me excited was a finish of that Storm Warriors game, as everyone Ooh, spoke about. Of course. That Xavier Coates finish. Um, being someone that's played league at a high level, how hard is it to do that, what he did? Oh, uh, pretty easy if you're asking me. But uh, anyone else, the average man, pretty tough. <laughs> or was he like six foot high? <laughs> reached down. Bro, how hectic oh, was that? That was hectic. That was actually... Uh, so nail biting that finish. That was actually my moment of the round. Yes, good moment of the round was that um, they scored in the last five minutes. They scored two tries. Yeah, um, big big one from Pappy there. Yeah. But yeah, that coats man, that was crazy. Dude, it was so cool. Um, obviously that kept my kept the multi in the in the perfect week alive by them 100%. winning. Uh, the Warriors probably did blow that. Um, oh, standard. Yeah, I know. But uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty cool to watch. Yeah. Uh, what disappointed you this weekend? What disappointed me was probably the Dragons not scoring a single point after round yeah. one. Um, and look, I don't like the Dragons. After round one, I was like, oh, look, you know, we'll put some faith in them now. <laughs> and they come out, they can't even score a point. You Dude, know? the woeful. That what was terrible. Oh, it's, it's like, I don't want to talk about it. It's yuck. Yeah. And it you? Uh, for me, was, I guess, I've seen a bit of chat in the media this week. Uh, obviously, Latrell Mitchell's post match. Interview, you seen that? How? Oh, what happened? Uh, he was like swearing and on the radio broadcast, like just f this, f that, and then he's obviously come out being banned. And like, oh. like he's just obviously not going to plan. But like, if you want to be respected, you got to sort of, you know. Yeah, act. well, especially after he was on the bandwagon of um, banning Spencer Lenny. Spencer lenny has got eight eight weeks for calling uh, Mamma a monkey, and now he's doing that. Like, well, yeah, what's I don't going know. On? It's, it's just a bit of. I can see his frustration, but he's just got to. I guess he is a professional footy player and sort of got to play that role a little bit better, I think. Oh, definitely, man. You're a pro. Yeah. There's kids watching you. I agree. Hold yourself together. Good. Well said. Well said. That, that was sort of my Get point. off the mic. Yeah, bloody hell. Nice, up. man. You said um, it well. But yeah, uh, just, just recapping there. How good was um, Sunday over footy at Manly at Brookie once again? It was packed out. Yeah. Obviously, not a good result for you for the Chooks, but it's M- right. Manly, mate. Could be something Manly, special. Manly, I like that. Brad Jones down there. Yeah, I saw that. He it's, loves it's, that. He great, loves his team. The great man. Uh, yeah, so that was round two. Uh, it was a hell of a round, and it continues this weekend, uh, round three. Just uh, as we said, the tipping currently, I'm um, 10 from 16. At, yeah, and you are... Eight. Eight from 16. Ooh, so, that round one was nasty. It was fucking nasty. Oh, well, we're back now, though. All right, let's get into it. Uh, Round three action continues and it starts with an absolute blockbuster. Panthers versus the Broncos. The Panthers are $1.32. The Broncos $3.40 outsiders. Eight. Eight and a half is a line. I think it's just gone to ten and a half. As I saw as we start recording, Payne Haas yeah, Payne has been Haas. ruled out. Obviously, Reynolds is gone. Reynolds. Um, Jack Jock Madden comes in. Yep. Um, yeah, we're looking at Penrith versus Broncos. It would have been a good match if they had Haas and Reynolds. But um, yeah, easy one here for me. Not easy, but I'm going with Penrith, uh, yep. 1 to 12. Yeah. I think um, the Broncos should do enough to hang around, I think. Yeah. So I sort of agree with that 1 to 12. Um, would you take Broncos plus that ten and a half? I guess you sort of almost would based on one to twelve. Um, like it says, there's are they going to be within that two converted tries? Could be because yeah, Penrith ain't scoring that no. many tries, so it could be a bit good bet. But I'd just um, play safe here and just go with Penrith for, for the win. Yeah, I think they'll win. So um, a couple of stats for you: the Panthers have won eleven of twelve at home. Um, the Broncos have covered the last five as an underdog. 
Uh, three or four between these two at Bluebet Stadium has been decided by six or less. Oh, there you go. So those stats do say it's going to be a close one. Cleary has scored in his last five or six at home. And a man I like for a try, uh, Tanuva. Taruva? Taruva. That's the one. The hard thing about it is they keep swapping the wings. They do. Because I had Toto to- score and they put him on the other wing then Taruva scores and yeah. it's not fair for the betting. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so he scored in his last four or five at home so I don't mind him for a try as well nice. this weekend. So yeah, Panthers should be too classy on Thursday night. Uh, next up, this is Thursday or Friday night? That's Thursday at seven. Yeah, okay. Uh, then the Warriors versus the Raiders are over in New Zealand. Yep. Uh, the Warriors at all 46. The Raiders $2.70 outside. The line is six and a half. $2.70. Which I thought was kind of wow. strange considering the Raiders, how well they've started this year. Yeah. Um, um, they do struggle when they go over and versus the Wires over there. It's always been close. And the Wires seem to get up by two points. I don't know. That might be in your stats somewhere. Um, the Wires are playing good footy, but mm. they're just not hanging in there. No. But on the other end, Raiders have come out and been a you know, blockbuster. Yeah. Bloody so old. with me... I'm going to go with the Raiders here, 1-12. to 12. Raiders to win, I like it. Yeah, Raiders to win. Uh, yeah, the Raiders, for, I'm going to take the Raiders plus the 6.5. Ooh, I like that. Um, and I reckon the Wires will win the close one. Nice. I they'll be hurting after last week. They'll come back and bounce back. Yeah, Warriors 1-12 to 12 for me. Yep. Um, so the 8-12 of 12 have gone under between these two points. 43.5 is the number. I might take that. Uh, like Dallin with Tenney for a try. And yeah, the away team has covered the last 12 of 13 between these two. So Nice. Uh, that's how I see that one playing out. But it should be a good one. Over hey, I think it's going to be close either way. Yeah, bloody So up. you're on here with the plus 6, 6.5. I hope so. Um, then the classic grudge match that is the ancient old rivalry in rugby league. The Roosters up against the Rabbitohs. The Roosters $1.62 favourites. The Rabbitohs $2.30 outsiders. 3.5 is the line. The Bunnies looking for their first win of the year. Bunnies, Jack Whitening, Latrell in good form. Jack Whitening in the centres. Centres, yeah. That's my line. That's great. Balls. Um, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, like I'll, be, I'll be excited to see him. Hopefully, hopefully he's in good form. Um, the Roosters, they don't have Kiri in the halves, which I actually think is pretty good. They're the Sandin Smith. Yep. Um, and I think it's going to be a good matchup, yeah. matchup of the round. Um, you want my pick? Go for it, mate. Roosters at home, 1-12, to 12, and um, Dom Young for a try. Dom Young. I still find it a bit weird seeing Dom Young not in Newcastle colours yeah. this start of the year, but um, he's been playing well. so hard to not go past him for a try outside yeah. of Manu oh. or even just a cross Yeah, kick. that combo way is lethal. Oh, nasty. Um, yeah, so the Souths. South sitting have failed to cover the line their last nine matches. If Souths lose this match, it's their worst start since 2008, um, which is pretty crazy. Of course, uh, Lachlan Ilias is out as well for yep. Souths. Um, but I'm going to go South Sydney to win this. Are you? 1-12, to 12, get their first win of the season. I'll take South plus the four. And yep. then the Bunnies to win 1-12, to 12, and I like Milne for a try. That's solid. And it's also um, Latrell's old team, and he always steps up. Yeah. So look for Latrell to do some bullying uh, this week. Yeah, I reckon it'll be good, so I don't line. Yeah, it's a good little Ooh, Nice. So okay. you went um, Rabbits. Yep. Yeah, I was on the fence for this one, it's but tough. I was just like, oh. I know, it's hard. Uh, I just, yeah, the Rabbits are going to lose three in a row, I guess. Time will tell. Yeah. Uh, this one is an absolute toss-up. The Bulldogs versus the Gold Coast Titans. The Dogs at all 85, Titans at ninety six. The line's a point and a half. As we've said, the Dogs have lost their last six. Um, Titans were woeful in round one, had the bye last week. How do we see it playing out? Uh, turn your TV off at 2 p.m. <laughs> That's all I can tell you is I'm not looking forward to this one. Uh, but yeah, the Dogs versus Titans. Dogs are still looking for the first win. Titans have been woeful. Um, dumb matchup for me, but I'll be going with the Dogs here at home. Dogs get the first win Dogs, 1-12. to 12. We're looking at Wilson and Loffy for try scores for me. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Titans 1-12. to 12. I don't know why I keep doing this. Uh, I think I'm sitting on the fence as well. So It's it's honestly an absolute lottery. You flip the coin. Just don't follow my bets on this one. It's an absolute... Me neither. It's really tough. Uh, so I'm going to go Titans 1-12. I like Khan Pereira for a try and Connor Tracy for a try. Oh, nice. Uh, the Dogs have failed to cover the last 10 of 12 at Belmore. Um, so it will be... I think it's 1-12 either way, personally. Yep. But uh, I'll take the Titans win. Yeah, let's hopefully, do it. Hopefully. Here we go, surely. Need something. We'll see something. Uh, all right, let's move to Saturday evening. The Dragons versus the Cowboys. The Dragons, $2.80 outsiders. The Cowboys are the favourites, $1.44. The line is 7.5. Cowboys won their last four against the Dragons. They just got home last week against the Knights. Yeah, how good was that? Jaddy Townsend, good. Yep. And Valentine Holmes was having a shocker too. He was. Um, and if he was having a shocker and they still won, oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, so, back on the Dragons. <laughs> you going to back him? Hell no, definitely not. That's a hard no. I'm going with the Cowboys here. Um, and after the performance last week, I'm going to go Cowboys 13 plus. 13 plus. Yes. <laughs> have to. Yeah, let's go. I just have to. All right. They could bounce back. You never know. Um, yeah, so the Cowboys, they should be too good here. I'm going to go Cowboys yep. to win. Um, I take the minus at 7.5 as well. Oh, nice. Oh, clean. Clean, boy. Safe. I like that. Uh, yeah, but 
the, the, as we said, the dragons, we saw what they did in round one and we've seen around, like, they could be anything. We just don't know. Yeah. But that shit culture comes straight back in round two. Yeah. They are at home. Well, let's keep that shit help, culture going. Get the Cowboys. Great culture going. Yep. Let's go. All right. Up the Cowboys to get it done yes, over sir. the Dragons. Uh, the Tigers versus the Sharkies on Sunday afternoon. The Tigers $4.25. The Sharks $1.22. 12 and a half is the line currently. So Canola have last nine matches have gone under the total points. The Sharks have won their last six away from home versus the Tigers um, with their last four being 13 plus. Oh, beautiful. That's perfect. Lines up with my stats. Um, what I've got here, Sharks compiling excellence. Yeah, they are going really good. They've just got that same um, team momentum building from last year. Um, and they've been performing well around one and two. Um, and the Tigers is their second match. Um, so what did you make them last week? Not bad. Well, they weren't Just in parts. Well, they were pretty good at the start. And yeah. then they just... Not like a full 80 minutes. Yeah. yeah. If it was 60 minute game, yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, sold. Um, same as this weekend, you know. If, if, if they could play 80, then they're a good chance of one twelve. But um, I'm going with the Sharks here. Just too good. It's that Leichhardt Oval, which would be a, a, a good crowd, as it always is down there. So the Sharks have covered the last seven of eight. Um, too quickly, how good is Nico Hines going at the moment? He's playing yeah, good footy. Always good. I, just, yeah, I love Nico. Consistent, does his job. Clean. Good character too. Good character. Uh, I like the Shark to win here, and I like Talakai to score. Oh, big Talakai. I'm not going to mess around with that line, because I just don't know what the Tigers are going to do. Could be close, but I'll go Shark to yeah, win. Yeah, because... Happy Carousel is a weapon. Love that guy. He's good. He's good. Tell you what, he's not bad for a try. He always sniffs one oh, out. He does Carousel, too. He, so. he, he's playing with a lot of a lot of heart. Um, and also, mm. I can't wait for Sharks to play at home again so I can load up on uh, Mulatalo again. Yeah, how good was that? Mulatalo at home yeah. every week. Yeah, that was a great catch last week as well. Oh, yeah. He had some good try scores last week as mm. well. Fuck, it was a good week. Tasty. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so Sharks for both of us to be too good against the West Tigers. And this should be an absolute beauty. The Eels versus Manly Seagulls. Uh, the Eels... We were pretty good against Panthers last week. Like we said they'd be close, and they yeah. were. Um, dollar eighty-eight. The favourites, Manly's dollar ninety-two outside of the Lions, just a point and a half. Here we go. These two arrivals as well. They always have a close game. Always goes down to like a referee call. Um, I love the where Manly are at right now. Mm-hmm. I love the Burbo, the Turbo, the <laughs> Jerbo baby, um, and I like Brooks at the moment as well. And Moses is a bit iffy. He's not taking the kicks. He's half in, half out. Not really playing. Um, with that, I'm going to go with uh, Manly to get a dub here in the close one, 1-12. to 12. I'm exactly the same. Manly, 1-12 oh, to 12 for me. So the Eels have failed to cover the last 8 of 10. Um, and 4 of 5 of Manly's matches have gone over the total points. So if it's a dry track, I don't mind plenty of points. I'll take the over 41.5. Beauty. Uh, but yeah, Manly, 1-12. to 12. Look, We're on the Manly bandwagon right now. Yeah, no. I, this, this game, that don't, game does worry me a little bit. The Eels can turn up and just... As soon? Oh, true, they can. They can turn up and win something. Ah. And half of them are like swapping uh, from the other team. Like yeah. Kelma, um, centers, wings. They're literally just, you know... It's hard. But I will stick with Manly to do a job. Nice. A close one. And then our final match of the round, and probably one of the most... Game I'm looking forward to the most, to be honest. Uh, the Newcastle Knights up against the Melbourne Storm. A dollar seventy-two. The Knights are strong favourites. Uh, the Storm two is fifteen outsiders because of no Welsh, no Hughes, no Munster, no Marju for the Knights. Yep. Well, that's how it's sort of been anyway. It's just the same teams in the first two rounds. Um, Knights are just not gelling. Hughes played last week, didn't he? Jerome Hughes. Oh, yeah, Hughes. It's Hughes out. Hughes out. Hughes is out. Yeah. Hughes is out for who? Uh, some no name. They've got no name two, no name halves. Oh, well, I can't tell you who I'm going to pick then if there's no Hughes. Well, I'm telling you, he's not playing, mate. Well, it's a bit unless, of they need, unless they need me to shoot. Well, pre Hughes, I had a storm winning one to twelve. Um, they're proving to be good enough. Um, yeah, but without Hughesy, don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, uh, Pezzett and Wishart. Oh, that's unhealthy. And who are the Knights? Gamble, got... Gamble and Cogger. Look, Knights at home then for me. Ooh. Oh, he's switching. I have to switching. Hughesy's the main one. It's huge. Hughes, Hughes Pappenhausen. Yep, now it's just Pap on his own. Now it's just Pap. And then who have we got on the other team? We've only got Ponga and um, Hastings. Yeah, I'm still got no Marju. So Thomas Jenkins comes in on the wing for Ooh, very nice. Marju and, oh, and Tawala is there. Yeah, clean. Well, um, leave that a roughy for at the moment. Top Storm. Yeah, leave that a roughy at the moment. Just because I didn't know Hughes was out. Hughes is, is the playmaker. He's the man. He is the man. I wish I not the man. No. Um, yeah, so actually, you know what? I'm going to look for Knights here. Okay. Knights, clean. Lovely. Uh, yeah, so the Knights have won the last 10 Sunday matches. Um, the Tor- Storm have failed to cover eight of nine following a win. Um, so the Knights, obviously, they're none from two as well at the start of the year. Ooh, yep. First game back at home, I reckon this is probably my best bet of the week. I reckon the Knights to win this. Oh, nice. Bounce back. What were they paying? $1.72. Oh, there they are. And the line's two. So to take the line, clean. good money. Uh, the Knights win. Mm, I don't know if I go one to 12 or I just go 
Like it could be 13 plus. If they really, if they really turn it on, it could be 13 plus. Well, they plus. haven't been turning it on. I know, but they're due. Are they? Grand finalists. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, and then I like Bradman best for a try as well. Nice. To wrap things up. Sweet. Let's hope they can turn up this week because I'm, I'm excited to see Knights footy. I oh, know. Nice I foot. don't want to not see not Knights, Knights footy. Knights footy is great. What are you good. doing, Ponga? Yeah, sort it out. Pinga Ponga. <laughs> sort it out. Uh, sweet. That is an absolute blockbuster round coming your way. Plenty of picks in there. Um, what do you like the most? Anything particularly that really stands Ooh. out for you, mate? Yes. The Cowboys over the Dragons. Yep. After what Dragons done to me last week. You watch them win now. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm actually looking forward to the Raiders and the Warriors game. Yeah, okay. You're on the Raiders, aren't you? Raiders I am on the Raiders. It. That's good. It's a very close game always. Um, and what I'm looking forward to actually as well. Sorry, I've got so many things I'm looking forward to. Hit me, yeah. Um, Manly, come on, Manly. Yeah, against the Eels. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. What I'm about on. you? Uh, I like the Knights, more than the Knights, and I like the Rabbitohs. Ooh, yeah. Look, I just look, like they the, could do it. I'm due for a win. I just it's it's set up for them to yeah, win. They could do it. Controversy, the drama, set up for the win. Nice, but we will see. Um, all right, that wraps things up. NRL picks and preview round three in the books. Uh, enjoy your footy this weekend. Final thoughts from you, my man. Eat your protein, sleep well, drink water. You? Uh, same as you. Nice. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next nice. week. Bye.